Hari Om. I am Dr. Raj Devan, working in Tiaragar College of Engineering Madurai as Dean. I am a professor of chemistry. And we have done some work with respect to the proper reuse of plastic. I would like to bring out some details about how and uh, the need of such work the present day. <clears throat> plastic is very important. This uh, decade or this age itself can be called as plastic age because every alternate material has got some plastic or other. And now we are go in the we are moving towards electronic materials, which most of which contain higher percentage of plastic. And more than anything else, plastic is poor man's friend. India, India has got more than 70% of villages only and they use plastic materials for storing water, for most of the kitchen appliances, for storing materials, everything plastic and it is now available in the home as a carry bag, as a cup or a bucket, something like that. So, the plastic has actually improves the standard of living of the poor man. So without plastic they cannot live. So use of plastic is so much important, there is no question of banning the plastic. It, it, is, it is going to be the way of life. The only, if, if at all you call it a problem is how to dispose the plastic which is used and especially more than 50 to 50 percent of the plastic is used for packing. And the general habit of the public is to use the plastic for packing and then just to throw it, the garbage culture is poor. With the result, the plastic is spread everywhere and creates problem of water logging and uh, plastic by itself is not easily biodecomposable, therefore it is, it is staying on the road, roadside and many places and thereby it gives a lot of problem is an eyesore also. So what is the solution for this? The solution is very simple, plastic can be reused. Before I say something about how this is going to be reused, I would like to bring out the knowledge about plastic as it is, what I mean by plastic. So what I mean by plastic here, we must actually see and understand what are the plastic which is being thrown away, which gives the problem. I will show some of the plastic which is being used now. Now the curry bags, milk sachets, multi-layer films, used for chocolate, biscuit covers, kurkure, pan parak and so on. All these multi-layers and then the foamy materials as thermocool, foam, are some of these materials also can be used, all these materials can be used effectively for certain purposes like road laying. They are, they can, they can find wonderful use. So I would like to show what are the materials as it is. Now here you can see, this is a packing cover. Uh, this cover, the thickness is very important. We can use up to 70 micron by thickness. Most of these materials are less than 30 microns only. Here, this is another packing material which is used for uh, packing uh, cloth material, cloth merchant. This is MTR masala paper, it's a multi-layer film which can be used. And uh, here is aluminum coated plastic material. This is again can be used. And, uh, and See here, this is again uh, thin plastic films and this is a multi-layer film and uh, yes, here again, there's a, this is a multi-layer films at the top we have polyester at the bottom, polypropylene. So all these materials can be effectively used. This is, uh, this is thermocool which is largely used for packing materials and this can be again used reused. This is a PU foam, 
which is again used nowadays we use more of pu foam for packing this can also find its use for road laying and uh, you have many many varieties of uh, multi layer films here all these are used for uh, uh, proficiency materials which you normally you get in various uh, forms so all these things can be used now normally what they do is they simply uh, take it and then throw it in the road whereas they can find wonderful use for this so the, and the one thing which is not used here is a pet bottle this is a polyester we don't use it here now another thing is pvc tube and pvc material we don't use the material which is collected here are made up of polyethylene polypropylene and polystyrene only and uh, you form also something like that these are the materials you being used the plastic which i showed are the raw materials for road construction what we do here is these plastics are shredded into small pieces the size is 2 mm to 4 mm and then it is going to be used for road laying the process will discuss later but we can see here the shredded shredded materials now this is a material which is shredded this is nothing but kurkure pal multi layer films like kurkure this is multi layer film three layer multi three layers and five layers are there this is another form of these multi layer kurkure variety which is being used for road laying another material here is this is municipal solid waste from all over carry bag and other thing which has been thrown along with the municipal solid collected segregated and collected and that is being again used for road laying this is be cut again as per the size requirement number 3 is a very interesting material this is obtained from the uh, pu this is pu foam shredded the pu see it's a shredded pu foam and this can also be used we can also use uh, from uh, laminated plastic which is also been uh, which which is available in plenty actually every nowadays notebooks are laminated the so this is laminated polyethylene polymer is nothing but polyethylene that can also shred into small pieces and can be used so polyethylene polypropylene multi layers and uh, your foam all this body shaded and there is no need to any segregation for all those things it can be in the form of mixture and can be shaded and then used for road laying 